Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Tutorial Tuesday, which means today I'm going to be finding another tutorial somewhere out there on the internet and follow along, encourage you to follow along too, and we'll try some new techniques. This week I'm going to be doing another Glamour Days video. I'm going to be doing a vintage 1940s makeup tutorial film. This one's from 1948, and I have previously done one from the 60s that you can find up here. The video starts out with a bit of a lecture from the matron figure who's going to be teaching us how to apply our makeup. And she says the first step to looking beautiful and putting your best face forward is to have clear, beautiful skin, which means lots of water, lots of exercise, lots of the right food. So clearly I am failing right off the start. With that in mind though, she does say the first step to beautiful skin is also cleansing your skin really well, which is not really something that I expected in a tutorial like this. So she recommends you tie your hair back, maybe put a towel over it, and we'll start with our cold cream and wash our face. I don't have a cold cream that I use regularly, but I do have a bottle of the Nivea All-in-One Facial Cleansing Lotion, which I think is pretty similar to a cold cream. You basically rub it on, it cleanses your skin, and you can choose to like leave it on afterwards. Just kind of rub it in, and it's supposed to moisturize and kind of be done in one step. So she says just start working with the cold cream. Make sure you get your labial folds and your chin cleft. She recommends spiral motions in an upward direction, but definitely don't be too rough or you'll pull and of course get those wrinkles. She recommends tissuing off using a clean side of the tissue each time so you're not rubbing dirt around. Seems to work all right. And then she says a lot of people like to follow that up with another cold cream or rinse to get rid of any, as she calls it, stale makeup. So let's do a double cleanse. She also says if you're going to be washing with soap and water, make sure you get the back of the neck and behind your ears. And that colleges actually offer credits in like a lady finishing hair and makeup courses. And actually where I live, a high school got in trouble. I think it was a high school because they were offering like a credited course towards, um, I think, hair and makeup for their students, their lady students, just like a small town here in Alberta. I think that got shut down pretty fast. But what do you guys think about offering credited school courses for finishing purposes. I think we're super lucky to have YouTube nowadays so that if you're interested, it's something that you can look into. And if you're not interested at all, you can like stay the heck away. She then goes on to say if you have oily skin, maybe tone it and use a different type of liquid cream. And if you have dry skin, use a nice thick cream, again from Pons. So I don't know if Pons sponsored this video or what but she says to make sure it has lots of lanolin in it. I feel like with this Nivea All-in-One Facial Cleansing Lotion, I'm probably good as is. I don't need to really add anything else. I feel nice and moisturized and ready to go on to the next step. Now we can move on to makeup now that our faces are nice and clean. And the first step she says is either a makeup pat or a vanishing cream. And it looks like she shows like a cake foundation as far as I can tell. So the closest thing that I feel like I have in my kit would be like a CC cream. It's kind of like a vanishing cream. It goes onto the skin nice. It's kind of light. Um, it's kind of skincare. So I think this would be an acceptable modern day solution. She recommends using a damp sponge to apply it and kind of get it blended in. And then to follow up blending by using your fingertips. So that's really nice and smooth and she does recommend using the product sparingly. She doesn't explicitly say it but I'm gonna guess we want to do upward motions as per usual. She says for rouge you can try applying it using the tri dot method which I've never heard of. Basically it looks like she uses a cotton or something. I'm just gonna use my Makeup Forever blush. She says to apply one directly under the pupils, on the cheekbone, and then no lower than the tip of the nose. And then you fill in the triangle lightly. And then blend it in until no one can see that it's there, not even you.
Actually, that looks pretty good. It's a much smaller area than I would normally apply it. And it just kind of adds a really nice subtle wash, but I do like the really upward placement of it. Next she says that lipstick is your exclamation mark, and I'm going to be using a liquid lipstick. She says to make sure it matches not only your rouge, but also your nails. I'm going to use the Ciate Liquid Velvet. Use one stroke on either side of like your cupid's blow. Another on the other side one long stroke on the bottom. Then she says to fill in with up and downward strokes so that your lipstick goes with the grain of your skin. Again, the first time I've ever heard of that being a thing. I guess that makes sense. Next, we blot off the extra with the tissue. Next, we're going to pat powder on. She says, make sure your powder puff is well filled, but don't apply too much powder. Working from the forehead down the face. Next, we're gonna remove any extra powder with a tissue. Paying attention to your hairline and your brows. All the tissue on and off stuff really reminds me of that 1960s tutorial as well. There was a lot of apply and then kind of dust off. Final tip, she says, make sure you check the side of your face. Make sure that your makeup is everywhere. Lots of people will see you in profile. And that's about it. So no brows, no eyes, no lashes. You're just got good skin and nice lips, I guess. That's all I'm going to do for today. So hopefully you enjoyed today's video. If you give this tutorial a try, definitely let me know. Would you leave it like this? Would you fill in your brows or add some mascara? Let me know in the comments down below. If you enjoyed today's video, give me a thumbs up, subscribe down below. Make sure you check out Glamour Days for more vintage tutorials. Follow me on all of my socials and don't forget to check me out on Patreon. And of course, I will see you tomorrow in my next beauty video. Bye guys.